What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to be talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today. We're going to be talking about Chucky Season 3. We're going to be talking about Scream 7. We're going to be talking about Orphan 3. We'll be talking about Smile 2 to wrap it all up. Starting off here with Chucky Season 3. John Waters, we know as reported yesterday by Entertainment Weekly, is back for Chucky Season 3 Part 2. Uh, the legendary director behind Pink Flamingo, Hairspray, and Serial Mom is returning to the Child's Play Horror Universe. Waters will be playing Wendell Wilkins, the reclusive creator of the Good Guy Dolls, who gets drawn into the psychopathic Chucky's Tangled Web on an episode of Chucky Season 3 Part 2. The filmmaker previously portrayed a tabloid photographer named Pete Peters, who gets dissolved by sulfuric acid in 2004's Seed of Chucky. I did a video dedicated to this already, but again, it's nice to know that John Waters is back. We even got this image of him on set with Jennifer Tilly. Meeting the creator of this doll is bound to lead to interesting TV, right? I mean, I would hope it would, and it should considering they've been described as reclusive. This is likely due to their treatment from the public, at least that's my speculation, that they've received over the decades of bloodshed their creation has been at the center of, and I would love to know their thoughts on Chucky, Charles Lee Ray, Andy, Jennifer, all of it. What are your thoughts? They have to have some type of knowledge of this because I'm certain it's impacted their reputation, probably impacted their mental health, etc. There's also the chance, like I mentioned, that Chucky seeks this character out in one last act of desperation. One of you or a couple of you actually, though, chimed in stating, what if Kenan Thompson's line from the first half talking about AI dolls is connected to or just a foreshadowing of what we're about to get with the creator that we're meeting. What if the creator is about to launch a AI update of good guys? That's always a possibility. Or this could be a way for Chucky to let off steam. That's always, of course, on the table too. We'll just have to wait and see. Diving into Scream 7, is Courtney Cox teasing her return to the franchise already? So she recently posted this reel on IG that's in line with other content she's posted featuring a ghost face person. Ghost face creeps up on her, says something smells good, and then proceeds to attack her before it cuts off. So this has some people thinking that Courtney Cox must be hinting at her return for Scream 7. Honestly, Courtney Cox can already have it set in her mind that she isn't doing the damn project and still just have fun on her page related to the franchise because it's one of the most well-known roles for her. If she's in the movie, then she's just in the movie. All of these decisions that are inevitably, inevitably going to be made are not decisions that us as fans will have to live with. It's the stars who have to live with those decisions and what level of backlash does or does not happen. I personally didn't look too deeply into the reel myself, but my brief thoughts are that she's just having fun with the character like she has been doing in the past reels. If Gail does return, I would like to see a bigger spotlight on her, and I've already addressed how that can be done in another recent video dedicated to Scream seven so we're going to teeter off into talking about matthew lillard really quick because he seems to have shot down not completely saying he is not doing scream seven but when asked about it recently with entertainment weekly he said that i don't think so in regards to him portraying Stu mocker again i don't think so i don't think so i mean look with what they with what they're going through right now in relation to the overhaul creatively that they're enduring I have no idea where that goes. If there's a world where it makes sense, then sure, like I've stated, if it makes sense, why not do it? I mean, they keep mentioning it. They keep tiptoeing around the outside. He said, I hope they put it to bed one way or other. I can't walk down the street without somebody asking me if I'm going to be in episode 35 or whatever. I honestly think that Matthew Little is kind of just frustrated with the whole idea of Stu being alive or at least frustrated with him being asked about it. And I think Matthew Little has all of his sights set on being Afton in these upcoming Five Nights at Freddy's sequels because I think he signs like a three picture deal. So I don't think he's worried about Scream 7. I think this response is just him being professional not trying to rock any boats but just respectfully saying i don't want to do your film Stu mocker is dead put it to bed leave it alone i think that's what he's saying and diving on into orphan 3 here so orphan 3 is in the works this is what william brent who is responsible for orphan first kill said last year with bloody disgusting on the boo crew podcast i think we need to talk about this first he said this we talked we joked about everything these 30 years or there's 30 years of her life in relation to Esther that we haven't explored and there's so much life experience that we can play with and I think because of the tone of this movie we can go darker and lighter make her more in charge and evil but also have even more fun at times so of course there is potential there now recently this comment came out from the Hollywood Reporter saying that we're developing a third one now the franchise's rulebook has opened up to where anything is possible 
And knowing where we are in the process already, I'm extremely excited about the twists and turns that we have in store. Sure, I'll check this out, but I'm not excited about it. Some of you might agree, but there are certain films where once the cat is out of the bag, each film after just does not hit the same. And yeah, they might be good to decently made films, but that the nature of that first orphan added a layer of mystery that can never be du duplicated. And it's not that it has to be, but it was just that effing effective. That's how effective that first entry was. I anticipate that this film could take place prior to First Kill. There are those that have mentioned that there is an alternate ending that I completely ignored where this could be a sequel to the original film. But I beg you this question, since I've seen the comparison to I Am Legend. Is there a physical media release where you can watch that version or is it just a special feature? Because I wouldn't count that. I believe there is a cut alternate ending of i am legend that you can just watch all the way through and it's not just a special feature but we'll see what happens with orphan 3 so the last thing i'm going to talk about here is related to smile 2 naomi scott has been has been set to star in paramount pictures untitled sequel to its hit horror pick smile so parker finn we know is writing the screenplay and will return to direct Deadline reported this over the week and it sparked excitement for those familiar with the actress from Aladdin. I think she was in, but I believe she was also on Disney Channel, too, because that's where I recognize her from. She was in like Lemonade Jaw or something. No, no, no. Lemonade Mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's I think that's the name. It's either Lemonade Jaw or Lemonade Mouth. It would appear she is going to be our new lead, but I'm holding out for Kyle Gowner to take center stage for this sequel still after his work on the passenger this year i just think he would do a phenomenal job carrying a smile sequel and of course it's just in line with what we saw at the end of the movie and how the curse or whatever seemingly passed to him the entity if you will passed on to him we'll just have to wait and see how all of this comes together with smile 2 i'm very excited about naomi scott's participation i'm always excited to see someone from disney teeter off into the horror genre let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.